one uh, a machine wasn't working or something. There was a, yeah. a some sort of steam engine machine or something like that. It was missing a part. Yeah. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I must look for a wrench, a cog, a, a cog, steel right. bar or something. A cog, yeah, simple. So, of course, can't find anything. Racking my brain, thinking, what the hell's going on? A sheriff's badge. <laughs> a sheriff's badge. <laughs> And welcome back to a brand new episode of everyone's favorite podcast, the Critical Locate Podcast. I'm your co-host, Nick. And I'm Dave. Hello, Dave. Hello, Nick. Are you well? Yes, I am well, thank you. Um, a bit tired. And by a bit tired, I mean a, a, a mega tired. Like pure zombie mode. Just like yes. getting things done, but don't remember doing it or how or anything like that. Just exactly. getting it done. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. So... Anyone listening who doesn't know, I just my wife and I we just got twins a month or you, two ago. You almost just said I had twins. <laughs> I had twins. I, like, like, I had <laughs> twins. I'm famous now. I'm TikTok everything first man ever. <laughs> I've had not only a child, I had twins. But yeah, <laughs> continue. The evenings are s- just relentless. <laughs> this morning at two at two a.m., I was standing in the kitchen just washing a. <laughs> <laughs> pumps and bottles mm-hmm. it, it, it makes you miss the times of fighting off bug oh, hordes yeah. and automatons on hell dives. exactly <laughs> or you know <laughs> sleeping oh yes yeah, sleep well it's an overrated sleepers oh, i've always <laughs> thought it was overrated who needs sleep you i know, do sleep when you're... <laughs> nah that's just what pharmaceutical companies want you to think and doctors and stuff you don't need oh sleep. of course of course big no. pharma yeah, exactly they're, they're, just, they're just trying to sell you supplements and stuff Sleep, another sleep. reason, another reason I say I'm tired. So the past couple of days, weeks, uh, Dave and I, we've been working hard to get our Patreon page up to snuff. It's not been where we wanted it to be for the past, I don't know, couple of months, maybe even a year. Mm, a while, yeah. So we were hard at work trying to get it good enough, which I'm happy to announce. Now it is our Patreon page is now. <laughs> good enough <laughs> well we all learn I to say we, we all, always get better and better hopefully uh, for the next couple of weeks you can expect regular drops on our Patreon page for Critical Cinema and our post show content we've already recorded uh, remixed should now be available in, for, in the next uh, upcoming five weeks I think yes five Starting with Captain America and the Winter Soldier. And, uh, ooh, what's the next? I can't remember what the episode after that was. Fight Club? Yeah, it was something like that. But yeah, it has been a while since we recorded those. I can't remember myself. So Captain America and the Winter Soldier should be, av- should be available. Fight Club should be coming up this Thursday. Exciting stuff. Both great yes. films. Check the Patreon. Everything's available for five bucks a month. It would mean a lot if anyone could support this show we'd love that dearly <laughs> we would i'm not gonna lie it's just yeah i don't know money yes money yeah it's like, it's like <laughs> no we don't want money we we want to do this for free forever but no yeah if you give it a listen it would be most appreciated yes definitely but anyway uh let's move on to this week's topic this week we've we somehow got uh, another part in a trilogy we've already had and i can only say i can only account this to the list all being hell the list. all hell the list the list being sentient it knew we wanted this game <laughs> well, wanted to push it knew it knew we must we must <laughs> okay. play this game or, or we needed, should play this game needed yeah. this game <laughs> yeah but i say wanted was a bit much there but yeah by all means the list the list knows all the list knows more far more than we do. it is becoming sentient we will it have does. the first it, yeah. ai before google and everything all held the list all held the list dave how about you tell us what did we what did we play this week uh this week's game is alone in the dark three the 1995 uh classic i want to say classic because i remember when i was a kid granted you were only two so you can't i remember yeah. people actually talking about the alone in the dark games that they were scary and kind of 
cool and grown up and all these other things. Yes. And I never played them because they're scary and, you know, scary is not my type of jam. Uh, but it was good. It was fun to finally dive in to a, what, 1995? I don't know how long that makes it. 19 years old? No, more than that. No, 29 13. years old? Yeah. So if well, it's yeah. 1994, 95, 29? Right? 29, Jesus, 29 years old. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I feel so old that I've got memories of kids discussing that in the schoolyard. Um, but yeah, diving back into classic retro gaming on the PC is always a lot of fun. It is, um, it really this is. This was developed by a, a company called Infogrames. It just bugs me. If Am I saying that wrong? I, I was thinking I, the I just, same I, thing. Why is that R there? Why is there yeah. an R? Huh? Why is it, it Infogrames? What's a Gram? That makes I'm, I'm zero like, sense. <laughs> info games. Yeah, perfect. that's what I thought it would be. Perfect. Info games. I had info thought, yeah. games? No, they were smoking something. Unless the 90s were hectic. It, it, it's French. It, I, I, I still don't know if that's any regards. I don't think that's a French word. Anyway, it's info fr- games. Uh, it was a subsidiary of Art, uh, Atari. Everybody knows Atari from yeah. the console system to all the games. They're a massive powerhouse friggin' developer. So, and of course, it's the same developers who, who made Alone in the Dark 1 and 2. Yes, um, one of which we have already reviewed. Oh, exactly right, the first one on the on the, the show. Yeah. When was was that was that Halloween? Twenty twenty. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. I think that did tie in, didn't it? Yes, it was Halloween twenty twenty three. That was our special Alone in the Dark one, nineteen ninety two. And now we've got the third installment. We're just skipping Alone in the Dark two entirely. <laughs> yeah, the, Thank the you. The list did not want us to play the pirate version. <laughs> uh, not the pirate version. There were literally pirates in the game. Sorry, before I say the pirate version. The second one was all about dead pirates, it would seem. It's, yeah, that's, that's true. And the third one is all about dead cowboys. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Where else are you going to go with it? We had normal haunted house. We had pirates. You're going to go with cowboys. It just uh, feels like... Is, is, is the adventures of Edward Conby in cliché supernatural stories. <laughs> well, cliché, but you can only have clichés... When it's first established and people repeat it, mm, so you, yes. you don't know if uh, Alone in the Dark 3 was the first uh, cowboy horror game. I'm pretty sure it wasn't certainly the first of its genre movie-wise, but I can't, you know, it's a cliche now, but was it a cliche back then? Who knows? Very true, because this was only 30 years or so after when Spaghetti Westerns took yeah, over the right, world. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This was probably hot stuff back then. Yeah, uh, not so much now though. Um, this was <laughs> no. also the first game of theirs to be released on a CD. Old, you know, new oh. technology. It was shiny. It was brand new. It was cool. He had a CD Wait, ROM drive. So, what was the previous two released on? Floppy drives. Floppy drives or sticky really, discs, depending on which. Yeah, Whoa. like a two or three floppy drives. What? I the, can't uh, imagine playing a 3D game on a floppy drive. That well, doesn't I, compute. No, it does. I, I've, I've actually owned a few 3D 3D games, games on floppy drives? Games. Yeah. But it's like 12 floppy disks or 15. I've got there we go. Them. Yeah, there's a lot of floppy And the wow. only reason this is actually on CD-ROM is because they translated it into like seven different languages. And of course, the audio of translations was a lot bigger than a lot of other things. So they had to put it on a CD instead of floppy disks. I see. Which they is had cool. To. I like that. It is cool. It's It's very much... The first of its kind to be released on CD yes, and yeah, exactly, not floppy exactly, drives. Exactly. Right? Because after this or during this was when the PlayStation 1 released. Oh, when when did the PS1 get released? PS1. I have to find yeah, I have to type have to find right? out. Right? That's around 94, 95. It has to be. It has to be because I remember PS1 that being pushed. Release. Yeah. That is December 1994. And everything on the PS1 is disc based. Yeah, and that was one of its big selling points as well, the PlayStation 1, was that. Wow. Ooh, new format of gaming, high-def yeah. disc, CD, compact disc. Yeah, I The that. only way to play Final Fantasy VII. Damn straight. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to argue with that one. Um, so once uh, again, Alone in the Dark, the franchise, is at the forefront of technological <laughs> yeah, progress. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Ooh. It doesn't look so much now when you go backwards, but yeah, it was pretty much... One of the, the the leaders in gaming technology and graphics yes. fidelity. I'm surprised the first game fit uh, mm. did, uh, fit on, on flip fit. How does that fit it on floppy disks? Fit an on the floppy disk. <laughs> no. There we go. Because <laughs> no. of Edward Conby's massive mustache, 
<laughs> of course. No, and the, that... the, the perfectly shaded pixels of his arms and legs. and uh, Yeah, no, it's. It, I can remember, but the, I had um, TIE Fighter. That was a Star Wars game. That was on TIE Fighter. Discs. Oh, not uh, a fighter from Thailand. No, she's <laughs> no a Star Thai Wars fighter. type fighter. Okay. Yeah, there was just a fighter game from a guy from Thailand you just played, just <laughs> flying around <laughs> Thailand, just landing. That was a big hit back then. Um, <laughs> and his and sequel, that... Viet Fighter. <laughs> yeah, they just released different Asian countries of fighter <laughs> game. Um, also, this was the uh, first official, oh, not official, because uh, I don't know how many more there were, but it's the first time you actually had a difficulty scale in this game. You could make it hard, medium, or easy. Was that on how. just for this franchise or for games in Oh, general? no, just for this franchise. I think oh, the, okay. Yeah, that thing. But they, because this game, or these games are particularly complicated or yeah. hard, you are now allowed to lower the difficulty so that you could take more hits. Or they are a bit damage. hard. Hard's not the word. <laughs> later, I've got this later. Hard's not the word. Bizarre. Like, Bizarre. Like, what were they smoking with some I of the puzzles in this? It's insane. <laughs> okay, we'll get but into anyway. that in gameplay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Let's jump into the narrative. narrative. Well, the narrative so, I thought was quite fun. Sorry, go on. Yes, fun. I was going to say, fun mm. is the word. Mm. They're having a ball making these games. Yeah, no doubt. It's, 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 this is the third game in the franchise, I don't know the dark. The first one, Haunted Mansion. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, very vanilla, which is yep. nice. People like yep. that. The second one, okay. Okay, how do we spice it up? I know, pirates. Yeah, what well, isn't spiced up with pirates, right? <laughs> you can always <laughs> pirates. Make with pirates. Ghost ship. Huh? Yeah, Davy Jones, uh, the Haunted Dutchman. We can have all of those vibes. No doubt, no doubt. Yeah. And then for the third one, they said, "Okay, this is this is a nice, this is something nice that we've got here. How do we spice it up again?" I know, Dead Cowboys, hmm? the town of, of Tombstone. Yeah, ghost. <laughs> have him towns, fight right? Billy yeah, the exactly. Kid. Yeah. It, it's, it's fun. It's good, it is. It's fun. It's like it's, it reminds me a lot like like the Goosebumps books when you were a kid. Just oh, the the, the yeah. same oh, type of perfect. vibes, of, right? Yes, it, it's fun. It's wacky. Yes, who wouldn't want to play in those type of stories and like and the like, right? Oh, that's that such a good comparison. Yeah, they got those vibes. Also, They've my favorite. Re- sorry, yeah, my favorite part of this is that the it's tied into the first game. Like that's <gasps> nowadays. That's mm-hmm. not that impressive because everything is. But back in the everything day, nice. this was tied into the the first game. I know. Because if if you if I know I know exactly what you mean. If you played the first one, you were sort of narratively rewarded by playing this one. Then, yes, exactly right. Because one of the characters you can play in the first one, in the third one, has gone <gasps> missing. Whoa! I know, right? It's like duh, duh, duh. <laughs> it's and not only that, it's the other playable character from a lot of the dark one. Right, that's cool. Uh, Emily so cool. Hartwood, right? Um, yeah, that's right. Emily Hartwood. Now she's a leading actress, actress, sorry, and she was working in this ghost town and has now gone missing. And it's up to you to find her. Find her and the film crew. By the way, yes. the name of this ghost town, can you remember it? <laughs> I remember slightly because I couldn't, I didn't recognize the second name. Was it yeah. Gulch or Grolch? Yes. Or, I, it's I, the, <laughs> it's such a, I can't imagine anyone ever calling the town that they found, Slaughter Gulch. Slaughter Gulch, yeah. I remember thinking, why that on sounded earth like would a you settle? Yeah. Why would you settle in Slaughter Gulch? <laughs> you, you, just, you just meet your in laws. Oh, hello, yes. Uh, I'm from Middleton, and your father in law goes, Oh, great. Yeah, we were thinking of moving to Slaughter Gulch. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, yeah. What? Whoever moves yeah. to something that's like slaughtered go- gulch or deadly, you know, de- deadly town or might go missing uh, village. But <laughs> just might go uh, bloody crevice. Yeah, exactly. But gulch, I did look up, is a word. Gulch is something to do with rivers well, or a dried up ravine or Slaughter's something like that. Slaughter is also a word. Yes, <laughs> I know, slaughter, <laughs> like that. It sounds darling, doesn't it? Oh, we must w- move to slaughter. Oh. But how do you make, how do you name it? It's town the 90s. Out? Right? It's the 90s. I we guess had it's fun. Harry. It's a lot of we, fun, we, right? The exactly. Jamaican team has got a bobsled team. Yeah, exactly. It's fun. Exactly. But I, can you just imagine go, going to <laughs> the Slaughter Gulch Library? Phoning up the Slaughter Gulch municipality. Right, yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah, exactly. Just that's it. Those things must happen. 
where of they're course, doing like course. research and stuff like that. You lose their hope those things happen. Yes. Uh, and let but me this... just point... Sorry, go on, go on. No, I was going to say that this town is actually modeled after a real American town uh, big in the cowboy era. Have you heard of the town called Tombstone? I know there's a movie called Tombstone or something oh. like that. A really old Western movie. I know not, that much. That's not about surprised. Um, that's the about town it. of Tombstone has got a big legend. Mm. Um, there was one of the biggest West shootouts of the Old West happened mm. in Tombstone. Between I think the sheriffs and the, the yeah the sheriffs the and the outlaws and I yeah, yeah, think yeah. Doc Holliday was a part of this. Oh okay yeah I know I know of him. A That's load cool, of a, a load of big old west names died mm-hmm. in the shootout, and it said the cemetery in Tombstone Tombstone is haunted. Makes sense. I can see the law. Yeah. I can see how that would all add up. I didn't know and it was you know, real. <laughs> yes. That's cool. And the the the. The best part, or probably not best, but a fun part of this is by buying a hard copy of this game. Well, they only had physical copies. By Mm. buying this game in 1994-5, Infogrames, or who did you say owned them? Uh, Atari. They were French. Atari held a competition that one lucky buyer could win a trip (laughs) to Tombstone. Did that really happen? That's sick. yes, that's, that's yes, awesome. Did the buyer never come back? <laughs> like, no. Yeah, we maybe this competition wasn't a good idea because uh, we can't find little uh, Ooh, uh, little Philip is now. Little, yeah, oh, that's no. right. Uh, Sebastian's gone missing and no one can <laughs> find him. But anyway, he won. Buy anyway, <laughs> look forward to Alone in the Dark Four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, find where <laughs> Sebastian, right? No, that's that's cool. I like that. I love those types of little ideas of marketing. They should do that more now. It's but, great. You know, they should. They really thing. should. Oh, uh, let me just point out that the the beginning narrative, the opening sequence of this game, which is very good, it was the funniest thing I've heard in a long time. <laughs> It was hilarious. It was yeah. just, it was the just the what is going on moment of all of it. And then there's that lovely. I know this is visuals or even that, but the narrative part when the power goes off. Oh, and office. he says the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm alone yeah. in the dark. Yeah, he says it the line. So dumb. But it dumb. Still made me laugh. It made me laugh. It's like nineties funny. It's nineties funny. Kind of dumb now, but it's it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the endearing dumb. Uh, yes, it is. Jim it is, Carrey, it is. Dumb and Dumber type dumb. It was just so silly. That's, that whole bit was silly. Oh, God, it was it's crazy. The, it's the bad guy being punched in the face at the end of a Spielberg film. Funny. Yes, yeah, yeah. It, it really was. It really was. Um, uh, but narratively, uh, much to go on. You, you go to, of course, the, the ghost town. You're looking yes. for Emily Hartwood. Yep. A uh, bunch of cowboys, of course, trying to kill you. Um. There's lots of weird things that I d- you only get explained later. I had no idea why when you killed some of the cowboys they turned into a cat. That- I no, I've. Why did and that happen? Do you I know only, actually? Well, they most turned into a cat, and then most turned some turned into bats, and I just thought those are oh, familiars, what? right? Yeah, the couple turned into bats. Oh. I just thought because they're familiars, I thought maybe there was some sort of witch aspect to this girl. That on, could but- be it. I didn't that really see anything it. else. What do you think? I've no. I I like the idea that uh, a, a game this oh, I'm not gonna, this early in uh, gaming mm-hmm. had such a big uh, hand in what do you call it visual storytelling? Yes, very much so. Yes. Right, it's just the fact that you kill thing. a zombie, cowboy, whatever, it turns yeah, into yeah. a cat or a bat and then warps away. Yeah, it makes you think. What the hell's going yeah, on? Yeah, that's true. Here? That's true. And it it's does not make you think telling that. you with exposition it's no. a mystery. No, you can see by something that you did by interacting with the game, mm-hmm. it's mysterious. That's good. That's, that's true. some not, good visual narrative storytelling. They don't handhold, do they? The old, no. especially the old games of like the nineties and stuff like that, compared to now, they don't handhold. And that's why I want another note. I was like, narratively, you come across uh, posters in the sheriff's office. Mm-hmm. And under, under each one of them, be it, I can't remember their names now, some dastardly name for the characters, and they kind of gave you their weaknesses on the poster boards that you had to remember. <gasps> Ooh. Right? There was, there was one uh, cowboy who was uh, obsessed with the gold rush, and the only way to kill him, his weakness was a gold bullet. So in yes. your mind, you thought, yes, okay, the I gold need to bullet. Find a gold bullet, right? Wow. And that was cool. That was, again, that was a cool little bit just to tell you, remember this and remember that. And remember, this game doesn't give you any quest markers or any notes. But that's... You genuinely have to remember it or write it down. 
I mean, no, that was that good. was that was adventure games in the nineties. Exactly, exactly. No it's hand su- holding at all. I miss that. I never got a lot of that. I kind of made up for it with playing all the Monkey Island games in yeah, the two no, thousands. Yeah, but the king of that time. man, yeah. those adventure games, the Sam and Max, Dare the Tentacle, all those. Types. Oh yeah, no, no. Those. I that's think, the best thing about those games. You actually yeah? feel proud you completed them because yes, they are yes. complex. They're like doing a Sudoku or whatever you like to do to test your brain. That's what those games are. I think like, the best way to compare them now is with Elden Ring. Yes, yeah, true. Not because you're just proud you completed it, but yeah. the game doesn't force feed yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I get what you the mean, yeah. ties between yeah. story points. No, exactly. No, And you, also no, no quest markers or anything. No. Right? You, do, you find the stories on your own, the side quests and stuff like that. Yes. No, agreed, right. agreed. It has got the same thing. Adventure games are a bit weirder. Um, mm. This one included... There's t- <laughs> the game doesn't tell you, and it's not all that common sense that earlier in the game you need to pick up a cane. Yeah, don't give me Because started. later in the game you need to get the keys for a jail cell behind the bars. Yeah. With don't, that cane. Don't, don't, yeah. Game doesn't tell you, and it doesn't even uh, 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 hint towards that's what you need to do. <laughs> okay. Well, you've chosen a couple there which had some logic associated to it, right? Okay. I can imagine yes. going into the jail, there's a key, it's out of reach. Okay, I need something I can reach. I could think to myself, oh, that cane, or something like that. I, I'm with you there. Yes. Now, there were some moments in this, <laughs> the puzzles, though, it could be gameplay. Narratively, <laughs> they kind of do move on the story. Yeah. There was one moment where I had to feed meat to a cuckoo clock. And I don't know why. <laughs> A slither of meat oh, to a cuckoo co- clock no, that to does shut not it make up. Sense. No, that another, does not make sense. Another great one. Um, one uh, a machine wasn't working or something. There was a, yeah. a some sort of steam engine machine or something like that. It was missing a part. Yeah. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I must look for a wrench, a cog, a, a cog, steel bar right? or something. A cog, yeah, simple. So, of course, can't find anything. Racking my brain, thinking, what the hell's going on? A sheriff's badge. A sheriff's badge. That's the answer. Because that hole in the machine is perfect for a sheriff's badge. Five oh, of course. Tongs. Of course it is. Uh, I was like, okay, okay, I, I'll give you. You're pushing. Yes, a sheriff's badge has okay, cog-like game. aspects to it. But you can't tell me that's the answer. Oh, that annoyed me. That was so obscure. But like most of the puzzles in this, they're obscure as hell. Yes. But let's, let's... go on. Get into that in gameplay. Okay, gameplay, that's right. I agreed the puzzles. I don't know. Some of them were... Some of them made a a bit sense. Yeah, no, some There's a trap door and a big skull on the wall with horns. Yeah, yeah, Pull a horn, trap door opens. That's fine. Yeah, classic, classic. Can't get wrong with... Nothing wrong with that. But you're right, a badge in the machine? No. Visually, this game used the exact same engine from the first one. Did you know that? I can see that. Mm-hmm. I can so imagine people, there weren't a load of 3D engines in the early 90s. Not 3D, 3D, you're right. But remember, this is the same same era, 1995, what, Full Throttle came out? The, the, did you play oh, Full yes, Throttle? the you Sierra. Uh, what was it? Uh, Star Wars Dark Forces, Mortal Kombat 3, Comic uh-huh. Zone. You're right, those are all 2D, uh, either platformers or games to some degree. Yeah. But graphics was 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 improving at quite an, a, a great rate, but they still use the same visual engine. And people were a bit upset because they did so well with the pushing the boundaries in the first one yeah. that a few years later, they're still using the same engine to perform the same things and stuff like that. Were so they the, that upset, though? Uh, if you look at some of the reviews of the days, days Gone in the past, this one didn't get as good. This one was the second, no, third... No, second highest rated. The first one was what rated the best. The second one rated the worst because they just thought that was more boring. Uh, so, yeah, people were a bit disappointed. But for granted, this was back in 1995. So, yes. you know, everybody's got to find something wrong with something. I don't... I think this game still looks fine. I'm happy they updated Edward Conby's uh, player model. He looks yes, so much better. That's true. He does look his, a lot better. Than his that's big, true. goofy handlebar moustache. No doubt, no doubt. That looked dumb. He looks he looks better. He looks like he can take a punch and dole one out. Agreed, agreed. He does look more rough and ready. He's he's got more of that nineties Clint Eastwood uh what I, fistful of dollars type feel about him. Yeah, what I missed uh from this third entry that I really liked from the first entry was 
a load of the Lovecraftian elements. Oh yes, granted, yeah, that was right. that, that was the first one. Here. Wasn't just a haunted house. No, uh, the owner, uh, someone, someone Deseto, yeah, no, was no, trying to summon the old gods in his basement. That's right. That's right. And I if you fail the game, he succeeds. Yeah, no doubt. This is uh, this again. No hand holding. <laughs> no, nope. like, like, but in this fight. one, no. I did I miss something, or is it really just dead cowboys? I didn't see. I played quite a lot of this game. I didn't see anything but dead cowboys. Did I see yeah. anything but dead cowboys? No, they were all cowboy esque. They yeah. very much, uh, the, you know, gallon hats and stuff like that. They were all, and they were shooting you all the bloody time. So they must have been yeah. cowboys. I don't have an issue with lowered stakes at no, all. True, true. I don't have a problem if we're going from saving the world to saving a town. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, but. I think I just prefer the Lovecraftian elements over the, uh, over this, um, Dead West. Yeah, you like the classic horror more than the, 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 Yeah, and I think uh, I missed that, but no, I'm not digging on uh, the visual style here at all. I think it worked fine for what it tried to do. I have to, I have to point out there was one part, like, I think it was the same in the first game, in this game, it was just kind of cool, still is kind of cool, you kind of get death scenes, right? Remember the death scenes? And when you die, you get treated to uh, a scene of your death or what they do after your death. Yeah. Like that. I forgot this was a thing. So I got in, <laughs> I got into uh, Gulch or what the hell this place is, Slaughter Gulch. Yeah. The bridge blows up. I'm like, oh, shit. All right, cool. I die. Which should have killed you, by the way. Yeah, it's very much so. <laughs> Again, that if you stay, you have to move quite quick. Uh, so I die. And then the next scene, I'm hanging by my feet at a bar and there's five cowboys around me yeah and so in my mind i thought to myself oh maybe i was supposed to die and this was like narratively the next scene <laughs> so i wait yeah and there's oh no <laughs> the whole scene is me hanging upside down and there's five cowboys and then one cowboy turns and leaves and then like 12 seconds later one other cowboy turns and leaves that's and right then another 12 seconds <laughs> that was it they then just left it was like yes. a minute of my time and I'm like, what is going on? Somebody cut me down or tell me something. But no, they then just left. And I was like, oh, it's a death scene. Yep. I'm telling you, just... these, you're right. These 90s games, they don't hold your hand at no. all. Like the, this this game, I can only imagine back in the day, because we're so used to quest markers and yes. narrative, narrative points or being able to re uh, read or something where you might be going wrong. This game on its own, trying to work it all out on your own and try to survive, literally must have taken ages and ages and ages and ages. Yes. Because I was lost Same. most of the time. Most of the time completely lost. And but being I mean, isn't harangued. that just most adventure games? Yeah, that's true. But this, You're this lost one can die, all the time. Right? Yeah. In Monkey With Island, the- you didn't have that, that stress that you might die. Probably not. You're right. But I guess that's why Alone in the Dark could be considered one of the first horror games. That added agreed, tension. Agreed, that agreed. added tension adds just a new layer. Uh, it was there was a lot of things in this which I did like as well. There was bits I didn't know I didn't think was gonna work, but it was kinda cool. You could physically knock uh the cowboys down holes and stuff like that. That was uh the, in the two D um background and stuff. Did you notice yeah. that? I, I thought that yes, was cool. I, I wasn't that. expect. I genuinely didn't expect that. I don't know why. I figured games hadn't reached that point where physics kind of worked in games, but you could I knock did them down the stairs or the ladder, right? Yes. In the jail cell I was talking about earlier, you get into it through a trap door. And after you've been in the jail cell a while, a zombie, a dead cowboy follows you mm-hmm. into this uh, zombie uh, jail cell through the trap door. So I just give him the old one, two, and he fell back down. Yeah, that was kind of a cool moment, right? Definitely. Can I tell you what moment <laughs> was was cool but also bullshit? <laughs> I was, <laughs> yes, I was please. like, I was like, I'm so safe now. I'm so safe. There's one part where you go into a jail again, I think it is, or you go into the jail cell and it's a door and there's only one of those little rectangle uh, holes in the door and you're yes. in there and you're hiding in there and I'm thinking, oh well, I'm completely safe now. And oh, then no. the, the 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 bugger puts his hand through the hole in the door and just starts shooting inside the cell room. No, he did. I was, 
I did not see that coming. It was very cool visually, but it did kill me because I was like, no, I'm safe here. I can just relax. I'll just look at things or something like that. Yeah. But no, I thought that was really cool. They even thought about the aspect that oh, everyone's going to hide in here. So the cowboy did what any reasonable cowboy would do is shove the hand through the hole and just shoot inside it. I was like, whoa, that's really annoying. But it was kind of cool at the same time. That is really cool. Jeez, they a game almost 30 years old. Uh, to be able to do all of this i can i can see why they had to put it on a, a compact disc yeah yeah you can can't you yeah i agreed agreed it is it's far far more to it even i swear the animations of our our dude climbing yeah. through windows and like just animated whilst doing things yeah seem to be more points of anima- animation if you know what i mean like you saw his legs and feet and arms and hands move more than the the, the first one i don't know about yeah. the second one um the only thing I also thought was kind of dumb. There are these great little <laughs> bits where they tell you like a, a story scene through a poem. I'm sure you saw oh, that. Oh, that, yes, that. I got that. And those are really nice. But sometimes they reused the same picture as was before. And I don't understand. It was like a, it was like a PowerPoint production, right? Where you get a scene, a lyric of the poem, and then another scene, and then a lyric of the poem. But sometimes those scenes were the exact same picture. And mm. I don't understand why you wouldn't have just put one picture on and two parts of the poem and then moved on to a different picture. It just felt, I don't know, kind of weird to me. It's like it's like trying to get extra credit at school where you had to do get- 15 slides and you just repeated two of them so that it would equal 15. Yeah. If you know what I mean? What do you, I, I do. don't know. What did you I do? Think? I don't know. That, that feels a bit nitpicky, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, I can do. other parts of this game... Um, I don't have an issue with that. I think some of those pictures looked nice. No, the pictures looked fine. I just didn't know why they repeated them. But anyway, it was. Yeah. W- You're right. That's a good point. There's a picture of a zoomed-in uh, face. One of the cowboys. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know what I'm talking about? I do. And that looks really that good. That was cool. Yeah, I had the really same feeling. Really good. I had the same feeling when I looked at it. I thought, whoa, somebody worked hard on this. Damn. Yes. <laughs> In this um, era of graphics, that looked really cool. Before we move on to audio, I've got one last point. Go um, on, go on. Do you know the style called Midwest Gothic? I, I've, I I can't say I've stumbled across it, but I can picture it in my head now you mention that. Midwest I think and Gothic combining, yeah. Midwest go Gothic, uh, let's say, is that very, very eerie, mysterious horror style, but fused perfectly with that of the Midwest. Um, mm-hmm. um and the old west let's say uh, massive cornfields uh, but a uh, cult member standing in the middle in the dead and night okay yeah yeah i'm with right? you i'm with you a floating mm-hmm. corpse rising above an old country house in the middle of nowhere mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. midwest gothic i really like that style and i think uh was one of if not the inspiration for the style of a game like this yeah, I, I agree entirely. I'm trying to desperately trying to rack my brain to see, think if I can remember a horror movie that had that. If this was a genre where that came into play, horror movie wise uh, in the cinemas, all Children I can think of, of the was, Corn. Maybe that's the only thing that came into mind was Children of the Corn by uh, Stephen <laughs> King, right? Because that's just cornfields and a little exactly village or something inside the corn. I can't, I can't think of much else. No, nor can I. But, but yeah, yes, I, if, get, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Yes, like if the, anyone would just to search Midwest Gothic. Yeah, you would you would see what I mean. It's it's literal like it's like the isolation of being in a town surrounded by nothing, but also having horror elements, and all you got is a pitchfork or a, 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 yeah, no one to turn to for help. There's not like a yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, and it what and it it is defined. Children of the Corn is literally the one that comes to my head, and this game used it too, right? What? Ah, uh, the gothic, western gothic type yes, features yes, and yes. styles and stuff like that. Yes, yeah. no, I... to the nails. No, it was really good, really well done. I just think because it's 30 years old, technology yeah. might not have been good enough to mm-hmm. fully realize what they maybe were trying to go for. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. I, see what I was mean. satisfied though. Okay, uh, should we jump to audio then? <clears throat> let's do it. Audio man. <sighs> um let's see here the audio for a game like this this was developed for pc uh pc back then was not the machine it was it was not meant for gaming like most pcs mm-hmm. would be today mm-hmm. it was yeah. still just a machine that you 
I don't know, do your taxes. Make yeah, a word sheet. processing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it really was. So. It was not meant for gaming. And I know the uh, Se- Sega's consoles, Nintendo's consoles, mm. the PlayStation, those are also just computers. Yeah, that argument get all the time. More prominent now but back then, back in the day. But yeah, you're right. Yes. But uh, I'd argue those are computers made for gaming. A That's PC exactly back then yeah. was not made for gaming. So. No. Making a game specifically for PC, I don't know. I don't know if it if it sits so well, especially for the audio, because the audio is crude and old and not in a nostalgic sense. Yeah, uh, I, like for the SNES, for yeah, example. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I agree. Agree. No, exactly. I know exactly what you mean. The you can almost hear the original uh, SNES or any any. Uh, right. Nintendo noises in your head and they're iconic. Yes. You, I can't picture many PC uh, game audio that I'll remember forever, if you know. No. What I mean. And I played plenty of games on them back in the day. Um, and the voice acting in this game, <laughs> as it just for me, went from good to horrible yes, to it's good bad. to insane. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just, it makes you, it makes you wonder. I love, like I said, we discussed this before. I love picturing how they do it. Like, do you just oh, yes, email yes. someone? In the studio? Say, is that yeah, what you mean? Is, is it in a studio or is some of it just in someone's, like, shed? Uh, probably. <laughs> I don't know. The, like, the opening voice acting was horrible. The opening yes. scene voice acting was atrocious. It was it was, it was, was so bad. It was funny bad. Good, you know, good bad, fundamentally. But later on, those little poems and some of the other, like, storytelling aspects wasn't the worst voice acting I've ever heard. I guess I'm. Did you? What do you think? Did you I think the voice all? acting is a bit overdone, but I'm wondering now. That was a staple of the 1930s. Yeah, I can't. I can't generally remember good voice acting. Do you think they might have done it on purpose, or do you just think that's <laughs> that's 90s entertainment? Yeah, I think that's 90s. I think. I think. I, I'm sure they tell you they did it on purpose. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I, I, yeah. I think. I think that was that. That's what voice acting was back then. Before. Oh, okay. <laughs> that does make cool. sense. We've uh, come a long now. way. Yeah, we really have. Um, uh, well, I, oh, anything else, audio man? Like, yes, no, I got, I a got couple. My notes. Go, on, go on. Go on. It's. <sighs> So, so I was I was saying earlier the audio is crude and old and not in a nostalgic or nice way. Mm. Uh, the the noises are loud and isolated and really not pleasing to listen mm-hmm. to, mm-hmm. which, in a huge stroke of fortune, plays in this game's favor because it's a horror game. Okay, but yeah, I get what you mean. When yeah, you yeah. walk around in the bar, all you mm. hear is your just footsteps yeah on the wood flooring gush, yeah. Gush, gush, yeah, gush. Yeah. that's all you hear mm-hmm. uh, you can hear creaking you can hear the wind it's not done well but it it's there. Do, it does put me on edge mm-hmm. it it is unpleasant and some would say that's the point some would say that's the yeah. point of a horror game right no, I, I agree yes uh, yeah even the use of poor sound to make you feel more on edge than no sound at all <laughs> which right? is a weird argument to make but does in a way in a way make sense i'd say it's mm. a limitation of the time and oh yes definitely yet it's it's something they haven't entirely figured out yet 3d gaming pc gaming no agreed to agreed. use uh, out uh, spatial yeah. audio mm. they haven't figured it out that no. out yet at that time at all no but i agree entirely in this specific case, uh, the unpleasant sounds kind of worked in its favor because it's mm. a horror game. Yes, yeah, no, I, like I said, and it's funny to say that it that probably only ever really works if it's a horror game. Yes, you know the poor Agreed. audio kind of adds to horror compared to if it was a fantasy or or, or a race car driving game. You know, bad audio yeah. would annoy you. But I'm something like. Uh, maybe Metal Gear Solid or Final Fantasy VII, amazing games or Ocarina of Time, those games probably wouldn't have hit as hard as they did if the audio was oh, bad, if no, the agreed, music was agreed. bad. Oh, agreed entirely. Especially, the, yeah, the Zelda is iconic music. doesn't matter which game version you exactly. play. The music is, is, is very recognizable. Um, there was, But there were some other things in it, like I said, 
<laughs> Again, amazing game logic. This does come down to sound at the moment. There's an ass. There's a. Sorry, this is so stupid. There's a part where you pick up maracas. Yes. Right. And then the sound effect for the maracas is horrible. Like it couldn't sound less like a maraca. Yes. But sorry, I just remembered what you used. It's the maracas hilarious for. what you do with the maracas. Yeah, you use the maracas to tempt snakes out of a doorway or something i can't remember what it was but it was so stupid what do you mean no the the it was okay, a giant you were chasing away a giant rattlesnake yeah i know but there were little snakes underneath it, yes yes there things, were little right? snakes i think those dispersed once you dealt with them the mama giant rattlesnake i got you but i love that the idea that the giant rattlesnake was attracted to your maracas because it's, it's that's so a funny. thing right that's it's a thing, so like, that is just so 90s I yeah it is it. it is it is but the sound effect those maracas were horrible they didn't sound like <laughs> they don't sound like a maraca now i don't know no. what what doing proper high fidelity maraca sound no me neither I don't think wise. neither do they no, no i thought that was annoying there was what the most annoying sound effect is later on in the game you get a shotgun and as everybody knows when you get a shotgun you get that warm fuzzy feeling inside you and go yeah this is, yeah. This is what yeah, it's about I can right? now I, now I really defend myself yeah and then I used it and it just went and I was like what? <laughs> come on I'm like I, 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 I even looked to see if I had blanks or if it was un, if it had no ammo in it yes it, the sound effect the shotgun, shotgun was that just was, the sound effect nice it was lighter than the nice. rifle good it's, job info <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was really strange oh it was I don't understand that. That really made me sad because <laughs> shotguns are, are very close to my heart. I love shotguns in games. Of course, especially in horror games, they are. Th- that's a that's a big moment when you yeah, get a shotgun. Yeah, iconic. Yeah, exactly. When you get your shotgun. Um, one thing I did like though, your heart. Yeah. You hear. You know, there were lots of. Scenes. Oh, I was going to say the same thing. Go I was going to say on, the exact on, same go thing. On. Go for it. It's Ooh, I do enjoy the music. The music, uh, yeah. uh, uh, and the fact that the composer tried so hard to make mm. it sound wild west themed yeah, he and he, he did, did so by yeah. you but with one very specific and unique instrument Go it's for it. excellent it's so excellent we can hear in the main theme so prominently jaw harps oh uh, yes that's right that's i was wondering what they were called Those, yes. I, I, I needed to them. google i can see people playing them never knew what they were ever called but yeah, yes, I had to google uh, until i found a video of a guy in a cowboy hat playing a jaw yeah, harp that's right that's right of and course he was wearing a cowboy It's hat. weird to describe to everybody who's listening. It's like that... I don't know how you do it. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it's like... Um, it's odd. You'll recognize it, though. Yeah, like I said, it's 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 got that typical Western feel to yes, it all the time. Yes. Like, you'll see tumbleweed go across the screen every time you hear it or something like that in your mind's eye. Yep. Um, Not only that, but it was accented with trumpets and banjos. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. That- and that's kind of that, that, those strangely enough brass those are brass instruments right before i make myself feel stupid there's something very alone and kind of isolating by those instruments added to it if you yeah. know what i mean right they're, they're kind of a lonely yeah. noise compared without having violins surrounding it so it, it added True. to the, the the desolation of where you were there wasn't yes else. Another fun little title. Bit. You're but, alone oh, in, the dark. in the dark. And they say that all the time. Even the first one was funny. But every time <laughs> you go into a room which is dark, it literally writes at the bottom, you are alone in the dark, just to Ooh. remind you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wall breaking. Oh, no. He said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I did like when you're alone in the dark, all you can hear is your heart. They actually start going. Was boom, that what that boom, was? Boom. Yeah, it's, it's not oh. a great. Or it's not a great sound because it doesn't sound much like your heart. Yeah, but they put they start kind of instilling panic because you're alone in the dark, and wow. then you just light a candle. And this then... game really was trying to be at the front of it. Really was what it horror was... games, interactive yeah. horror is. I think it succeeded. Yeah, I do. I just think the the competition got so vast. Like, I know it's only a few years between the first one and this one, but then with 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 full throttle, with uh, Lucas Arts coming out and all these other things, the competition was fierce. Very true. And, and even with horror games, I mean, it was uh, around this time for the PS One that we got Silent Hill and yeah, Resident thinking, Evil. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I I got. I was wondering if Resident Evil was coming out at the same time with this because. Again, 
they knocked it out the park. So when you're releasing your same engine game on the PC at the same time as, you, you know, you, you're going to start, people are going to start seeing the cracks because you've got that's Resident the thing. Evil. And then that's you've got the this thing. Game. This is, this is with this goes exactly into my point for earlier. Both Silent Hill and Resident Evil are superior horror games and oh, adventure yes. games, and they were both developed for the PlayStation One. Yes, it's very true. No, I agree. I don't have an issue with PC gaming at all. All no. I'm saying is, back then, thirty years ago, <sighs> developing for computers made for gaming mm-hmm. was, not I think, the the better way to go instead of computers not made for gaming. It really was. Yeah, I remember the era of the PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, yeah. PlayStation Two. We started getting PC games. PlayStation One. No, yeah. sorry, the PC. When PlayStation One out, the PC games you got. Well, well, they were super limited. I'm not even sure if they had a shelf at your local game store. Yeah. You know, for example, Blockbuster Video never rented out PC games. Mm-hmm. I know it's a weird thing to state. It was only ever console games because PC gaming wasn't really big then. Like you said, no. it was a personal computer. It was to do your emails on and Excel on. Granted, emails later. Buy a you carpet. Know. Look at yeah, pictures yeah, of your yeah. cousin. Exactly. That it wasn't gaming yet. No, as you no. as you say, it was it was no longer different now. But not back then. I think it was uh, it, sometime in the PS2 era. Agreed. That's that, when that it seemed switched, to kick off. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Gaming seemed to be profitable. So companies developed for all machines. And it yes. seems the easiest one to develop for was the PC. Yes, exactly. Because that's what you built your games use on, didn't you? Exactly, you, you exactly. You built them on PC, so why not run them on PCs? Yeah, but this game was before that Yeah, well, that point. kicked in. Exactly. Uh, anything else audio-wise you want to talk no, about? No, let's move on to gameplay, um, which I'd say is arguably the most annoying part oh, of this game. Uh, ladies and gents, if you do play this game, you should play this game. It's not too bad. But get a guide or something. Please do. Oh, it's agonizing. It is agonizing just going around and the ghosts keep t- coming up and trying to shoot you and, and you keep running out of health and you don't know why you've got a piece of meat or a <laughs> sheriff's badge and there's no reason to have it. And or maracas for maracas, some reason. Or you were supposed to take that bottle and throw it against the wall so you'd have a sharp bit of bottle. Oh, Ooh. It's, it's, no, it, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense granted that is adventure games yes it was. from this era they did the same thing but uh, i don't i don't i don't know not not here but there were some there were some things i did like there were some things that made me laugh like only uh 90s games can there mm-hmm. was one there was one ghost you killed with alcoholism alcoholism <laughs> You, <laughs> he was in a cell, and the only way you could kill him was giving him a bottle of whiskey, and then he drank it and died. And I thought, oh, wow, funny. <laughs> That's wait a minute, so was 90s. that Lefty? Yes, yeah, it was Lefty. Hey, Lefty. I know. I just thought, wow, that was cool. Again, another '90s great thing. Granted, it was spaghetti western esque. You healed yourself by drinking out of your canteen of whiskey. Of course, because that's because good, you're uh, because you're the paranormal private. Eye. Yeah, right. You need to keep your your, your, your yeah. Your, you need a buzz going. That's how that's how you work. So you just keep <laughs> drinking. I'm a man and I hunt ghosts. <laughs> I like it's I said funny. it's funny, it's nineties. it's the logic puzzles on this are just to some degree too much. Yes. It's almost just, illogical. Yeah, it's just like, okay, I get it, but you could have done this a bit sure, simpler. Fine. I you know, combining the banana with the knob on the door. Plus the the a smile does not make you know an explosive, but in this type of game, that type of logic. Granted, it was the era. Monkey Island had yes, some insane logic. That's it. To it. it really. This did. is the era of that. So then it was fine, I guess. Yeah, but the less thing about Monkey Island, the likes, it's tongue in cheek. So you kind of expect it. This game yeah. is a survival. I'm trying to save someone's life, and then you realize that you. You, you're wearing you're wearing the red plimsolls instead of the black ones. It just kind of detracts from the notion for me. I, like I said, I'd be a, I, I I give everyone a high five, a, a pat on the back, uh, a fist a fist bump, whatever. If you completed this game in 1995 on your own without any walkthroughs, without then you, you're any like any walkthrough. No, that's a, you must be Mensa. That's you are an Mensa achievement. Material. Yeah, you should be working at NASA because <laughs> I was what I was walking around this game for about an hour. With no clue what was going yes, on or what to do. Definitely, I I must say it was a bit nostalgic having to look up a guide on Game Facts. 
Yeah, right, Game Facts. Yeah, that's where I went too. <laughs> I used to use that all the time, very long yeah. time ago. I like that. So that was fun. But, I mean, I shouldn't need a walkthrough. No. I... It, it is an adventure game. Mm. Uh, it's, I guess just it was a product of its time. It Games really have was. evolved yes, exactly from this. Right. That's exactly it. It was one of those that's just try everything until it sticks, right? You got yes, a exactly. Clock, that's you try it. Everything and it, didn't in even, it. it didn't even work all the yeah, time. Yeah, no, exactly, because you didn't have the piece or the no. thing. Or you, nah, it's super hard. But I guess if you were doing it without it, it would be very rewarding when you eventually found out. True, very what true. To do. It's one of those games that you would remember how to do. Yeah, 50 like you, years, fifty years later. Yeah, exactly. Like you said with Elden Ring completing it you remember that battle and you remember how hard that battle was in theory you would do the same thing i said oh i remember this bit it took me ages to feed the meat to the cuckoo clock because yeah it would um gameplay wise i thought of course there was a the little platforming section came back like from the first one a yeah. bunch of pillars to jump to and from yes. some engines helping you out on the way um this one had a lot of actual combat though Yes, true. No, really. Nothing. I feel in the first game you had to run away more than anything. In this one, there's more face uh, combat. You were fighting Mm. off the dead cowboys and zombies. It was weirdly frustrating as well because of the new 3D s to line up your guy with the gun that and is the cowboy it yeah. was doing my head in i'd shoot and i'd be like to the right and i'm like but you look like you're on the same level <laughs> but, <laughs> but but it is again i'm moaning about an era of in 30 years old and this was the best you had so it was actually quite good if you yes. compared it to other things yeah my, my my favorite thing i remember from 1995 and it blew my mind that i didn't notice as a kid is that strangest uh, star wars dark forces you know the game Yes. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a, a scroller, kind of doom mess. You've got the gun in front of you, ladies and gents. You can't shoot up or down on it. And I can't believe... I remember realising this years and years later. That I can't believe that I was okay with that. There were aspects in that game where there were people above you and you can't shoot them because you can't point your gun up. Yes. And I just remember just thinking that's had to insane. be shot. Yeah, you just had to walk to the platform and then shoot them straight again. Nice. Uh, I just remember... I Sorry, it was a weird little uh, nostalgia trip, but I remember thinking... I remember somebody told me that. I said, no way, you could definitely shoot them. And I remember playing it thinking, oh my God, you can't shoot up. Dark Forces 2, they fixed that problem. Sorry, just because, I mean, the first Tip game it. to look up and down as well yep. as sideways was yeah, ex- Marathon. And that was, yes, like, oh, yeah, that's true. That 96? Yeah, yeah I, can, I can imagine that was just a year or so later. Yeah, that's very true. I'm but anyway, uh, anything else gameplay-wise? Yeah, the puzzles are complicated. I just... <clears throat> I just thought the tank controls are uncomfortable, like yeah. they always are. Tank always. controls are never fun. Yeah. But the adventure aspect is fun if you know what to do. Yeah, you uh, need to, Yeah, agreed. But the but the but the entire town is full of enemies like with yes. no issue just killing you. No, agreed. This one compared to the first one, every place has a bad guy. Yes. Like, it doesn't matter where you're going. I do like that one bad guy just put his guns out to the side and then span in a circle. <laughs> Again, very 90s ballerina, but it did make me laugh when he did it. I mean, the very... first game had a lot of weird Lovecraftian things. Yeah. There's a big mouth behind that door. Uh, go- yeah. Ghost people dancing in the hallway. There's yeah, a, a, bit, yeah. a, a, a ghost lady sitting down reading her book. Mm-hmm. It felt like the house was full of paranormal, supernatural forces that are deadly, yep. but they are so disinterested in you because you're so uh, 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 tiny to them. Yeah, in agreed. here, yes. in I, I, this game, mm-hmm. you're the main focus and you need to be killed. Yeah, agreed. There's that and from the first game. I think game, I, like the, I that, like the first game better. I agreed because you... Do, you for lack of a better term, you don't matter to them until that's you matter. It, that's what I'm trying to get I mean, at. Right? You don't yeah, yeah, matter yeah. because what they're trying to do is so much bigger than you. Yes, exactly right. No, I agree. I agree. I think that's very true. And this, you're right. Every room you go into, this is, turns into a shootout. So that's like the old classic Western-esque. Yeah. You know, every if that's room what you're after, kill a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. It's here, um, but it's not like there's anything much more. No, agreed. Agreed. Okay, did you have any performance issues then with this bad boy? No, I'm no. just still quite impressed that 
a game like this, like, like the first and second game, <laughs> ran originally ran on MS DOS. Yeah, I know, right? You could probably run this game in your browser nowadays. I know a lot of the old school most ones. Likely, you can. Most likely, browsers are. I think you can run this game on your calculator. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. I've seen people do it with Doom. But granted, this is 3D, so 3D esque, I suppose. Uh, I the only pre- go on. The only performance issue I had was trying to get a keyboard that was compatible. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, because I've that's got funny. a I've got a tiny little sixty percenter. Yeah, yeah, and that just does not work with this game. No, it wouldn't. No, it, it, it's funny to think that you know. These games, you, it's funny to think that's a problem, right? We've yes. done all technology yes. new and it's all updated and now all of a sudden you can't play a game from 1995 because yes. you've got the small keyboard. <laughs> it's funny to me. I do like that. What uh, did you have? I, I, again, I, I swear it's my performance issue with every game recently is just the camera sometimes is balmy. Uh, I get they're trying to do the cinematic like views from the corner and from up here and from down yeah. there. But sometimes you can't orientate your your left, right, up and down properly because yeah. of where it is. And some of the things, it took me like five minutes to push a lever because I needed the guy to freaking line up with it and then go to the menu and press push and he wouldn't. It was driving me nuts. And if my, oh, it was just a simple thing. Totally Old school camera. I'm not sure if you call it performance really. I, I just get what I mean. That's niggling. controls. And if the cro- controls just don't work, yeah, then yes, yeah. that could be performance. A load of times, I needed to go into open search mode mm. and hold down space bar so Edward can open or search. And Everybody, the item yeah. right in front of him yeah. just would not register. No, exactly. That line up, that little lining up aspect to everything. Yes, so that you're that's a performance issue, I'd say. It. Yeah, it drove me a bit mental. But it was a thing of the 90s. It was quite a common problem. So it, it, nowadays, yeah, it would bug most people. Mm-hmm. Other than that, not nothing, no, no, no else performance. Exactly, it was an, it's a simple little game that runs perfectly. Uh, value for money, then. Va- value for money. I don't. This game is fairly cheap now. Yeah, it's kind of really cheap. Back then, though, the value for money. If you bought this game and you won that trip to Tombstone, mm. hell yeah, that's, that's still some a really value cool, for money. That's still a really cool marketing thing. I like that. <laughs> I, I, I hope someone out there tells the story how they went there and, and they got the game. That's really cool. Someone's it got that. It would be very cool. That if you didn't win the trip to Tombstone, man, your value for money is fine. $60. Yeah. I mean, if you know what to do, this game can be completed in under an hour and a half. Oh, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, like right? really quick. Yeah. But I think with all of these adventure games, just stumbling <clears throat> alone in the dark, not nice. knowing what to do, this game can stretch out to be 20 hours. Yeah, easy. I, like I said, if you did nothing, didn't use any game FAQs or game facts, and this game, this this would be a game that I would uninstall after like a week because be I would so have gotten frustrated. nowhere. Especially yes. young David, he would have gotten nowhere, and That's I would right. have been angry and uninstalled. Um, but I mean, wouldn't you be so enchanted with the three D visuals and the Midwest Gothic style? Right. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, that sure, you're actually in a town like Tombstone. Wouldn't that yeah, just be so cool? That yeah, you but it's got the name playing? Slaughter Gulch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, you know, it's not a cool name to be saying, I'm at Slaughter Gulch. Yeah. Take a photo <laughs> of me at the saloon. I'm at Slaughter Gulch. I do love, I do love like what you said, that there was a, there's a, there's a, a meeting somewhere around a big table. So, so what, should, what should we call the town? And somebody said like, Rotten. Uh, Rotten Valley Lagoon or something like that. <laughs> Somebody said Slaughter <laughs> Gulch and they were like, yes, that's it. Perfect. <laughs> Lock it in. <laughs> I just can't imagine that was... I could. The other other prop, uh, proposals must have been horrible if right? Slaughter Gulch was If that was the best the one. If yeah, that right? one won. Uh, that just makes me smile. Uh, you can buy the anthology I saw. I don't know if I think I saw it on Steam. I can't actually remember now for like $20, which is to be honest be a bit much <laughs> now um, it is yeah like it's but like, I mean, these were three full games 30 years ago 30 years ago sure fine mm-hmm. great good value for money yeah agreed now it's just a piece of history yeah exactly it's like we said this all about the old ones it's it's nice to go down history like a museum of playing the old games to see where you got now um yeah it's like you said it's a one play game though that kind of bugs i guess me. I get, yeah, it, uh, 
like most adventure games, yes, you play it once, you got it, that's good. But yeah, I I think. But like I said, you say like most adventure games. I've played the Monkey Island games a good number of times because of their charm and their wackiness and their slapstick and uh, aspect of it. This uh, for me, granted, I say this uh, from a perspective. I'm not a horror game player it's not my 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 i would never see myself going back to this because of a moment in it whereas i can picture the moment i had to poison the poodles at governor marley's house or the <laughs> moment largo hung, hung me upside down on the bridge to get all my gold out of me at the very beginning of monkey island 2 oh no did uh don't d- sorry spoilers <laughs> no <laughs> did my, yeah, go oh on. did guy brush three pood Poison Elaine Marley's poodles? Yeah, the, t- the piranha poodles outside her mansion. You had to poison a piece of meat from you got from the chef's place in the in the bar. To they went to sleep. It was to put them to oh, sleep. Oh, okay. They went. Poison, that's so. fine. They didn't yeah. die. Guybrush three pood wouldn't do that. No, he wouldn't kill anything. No, he's a <laughs> good pirate. Um, I think besides all of those, it's important for a place like Steam or uh, uh, just atari to who owns alone in the dark now it's not still atari who's publishing the new remake Ooh, no clue well i'd be amazed if do you think atari so- i think it's it? great and also important that these old games game studios and older and the like are kind of what's the word kept around what's the word i'm looking for archived but i know what you mean like um yes they're they're not lost they're not forgotten they're not taken off of every shelf agreed agreed um so i'm happy for that at least oh yeah i agree it would be very sad if these disappeared i know they don't look as good or anything like that but it'd be very sad to see um games of old where you thq nordic is doing the new one okay which is a bit I didn't know it was going to be that. And Pieces Interactive. Yeah, I don't see Atari on here at all, unless Atari owns Nordic. Which seems I don't unlikely. know. No, I think Embracer Group. Owns yeah, I think THQ you told me that Nordic. before. Yeah, I agree. It's all. It's always would be a sad day when these go missing or no longer True. Know, purchasable or, or free to play or whatever. Because I think they know, should stay available. It's important for gaming history. I agree. Yeah, and and Especially, nowadays gaming history is literally a thing. The history yes. of gaming is important. Yes. It, it, it's become so paramount in everyone's lives now. It's good to go back and look at it. I agree. Right. Was that it? Was that Alone in the Dark 3? Yeah, what did we score this bad boy then? The, our scores for Alone in the Dark 3. Hmm, let's see here. All of them have decided to come together and make a nice little Western movie. They saw the upcoming craze for Spaghetti Westerns and they thought they were going to they were going to jump jump the gun and make one before the craze. So they got Emily Hartwood and they were going to uh, shoot a film at this new town called Slaughter Gulch. <laughs> Slaughter Gulch. That's a stupid name. <laughs> Go on. Unfortunately, when they got there with Emily, they got abducted and maybe killed, who knows, mm. by a big dead cowboy probably called Jedediah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but Edward Conby, the paranormal private eye, found Emily Hardwood and the remaining surviving scores that matured into the letter grade rating of C minus. Yeah, which is strange enough. We gave the original one a C. We uh, did. So yeah, so C minus is it's it's true. The original one is better than this. I'd hate to see what we'd score the second one if this one's a C minus. Um. And it is hard, ladies and gents. I'm sure, to some degree, Nickel, uh, Nick and I, sorry, are uh, are swayed by what we get to play now. You know, we got yeah. the PlayStation Fives, so we got the PCs, all the graphics cards. It's very hard to put on your '90s goggles again and play it from the '90s aspect. And so, the things that annoy me or n- niggle us in regards to sound, you know, it's going to come through because we're so used to gaming now. Uh, so yes. for a lot of people, this is probably a far better game. It's probably nostalgic. It's a lot of fun. It is a cornerstone in uh, horror game history. It really definitely. is. You won't believe it compared to what we get to play now, but this is definitely one of those pillars that the other games have been built upon. Definitely, which um, makes which... me so interested in what they are going to do in the remake. Yes, exactly. I mean, like, 
can't can't wait to see the new one because we've we've not so long ago long ago played the original. So now right, we get the to original compare and it. now this one as yeah, well. Yeah, so we get to, we get to see what they kept in with the protagonist or see what they let let out in regards to. No, it's going to be it'd be interesting to see even if um if they put some notes that Emily Hartwood wants to be an actress like in the first one to nod in to, to aspects of the Ooh. third one. You know, things like that would be a lot of fun to discover. I I, I look forward Could to be. It. Wow. But anyway, yeah, thank you for listening to this week's episode. If you'd be so kind, you could leave us a review uh, or don't. That's fine, too. You could rather follow us on our social media channels on YouTube and on Instagram. Or you could send me an email. I'm Nick at CriticalArcade.com. And I'm Dave at CriticalArcade.com. But besides for your email, Dave, where else can we follow you? Well, you can find me, and I am out of the out and about all the time. But I'll tell you, I've actually become friends with... Um, I don't know what the Americans call it, uh, where you get it. I, I, I know people who can change your name, right? I can change, get your name officially changed to something. I have that Change power your name? Change your name. I can get people legally get their names changed. I have this power. So I will get your name changed to Slaughter okay. Gulch. I granted. <laughs> that will first happen. And then, I don't know, I'll put you somewhere in the Nevada desert. That's kind of Western-esque. No one around. Slaughter Gulch. I'm trying to think of something bad, but that this game wasn't particularly scary. Like I could put you in a western. I can surround you by ghost ghost cowboys. You could. I, Apart me, that I don't know. Like changing fun. my name to Slaughter Gulch. Yeah. Just sorry. and being put in the middle of a desert. That sounds bad. The scariest part about this game was Slaughter Gulch. The name. <laughs> it's, it's how poor <laughs> how poor a choice that was. Literally the most scary part of this game. But anyway, oh, that's what will happen. You may na- you may like the name Slaughter Gulch. Uh, oh, if you don't, rather support name. us on Patreon. We spoke about Patreon earlier in this episode. Uh, we finally got the Patreon back up and running. Uh, we've got new episodes this week. We are, I think in two days, going to release Fight Club. Oh, yes. So please Classic. look forward to that. If you're a patron, it's coming. You can You can listen to our thoughts on Fight Club. Sounds fun. Yeah, we had a lot of thoughts, Dave, no doubt. Yeah. How about you tell us what have we got lined up for next week? Okay, next week's game is actually going to be a surprise to us and potentially all of you because we're not entirely sure what it is yet. Uh, it's going to be a banger. I know that it's more than likely going to be something brand new uh, in regards to coming out this week in March or this month in March. So uh, keep an eye out sit, uh, on our uh, socials and like to see what we're coming in because yep. we're not entirely sure yet, which is again, <laughs> kind of exciting from our respect because we, you get to hear it every week. We already know this time we get to be like you and I, we'll find out. It, it should be a good, uh, exciting like Christmas. Very true. Check in next week so you can see what we've got lined up and we'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers.